hi, my name is Valo and um, I'm about to embark on this paddleboarding journey from Stockholm, Sweden to Turku, Finland, 300 kilometers across the Swedish archipelago and then over the Baltic Sea and into Åland and finally Turku archipelago. Heading to the boat now. Boat leaves in one and a half hours. Hope they let me put this up for it as a bike on it. <laughs> no turning back now. Feels oddly brutal being amongst these huge trucks. And this massive ship. Now I'm going on this teeny weeny little piece of different fibers. I'm trying to cross the same ocean we're now crossing. It's uh. 3 a.m. Boat uh, rocking quite a bit. When I saw the ocean yesterday from the window, I started finally doubting myself a bit of what how I got myself into and uh, can can I do the crossing? Actually, nothing scares me at all except the crossing. What if the waves are actually big? What if the wind changes? What if I lose course and can't can't make it to the island? Yeah, gotta get over that self doubt. I think the first days of Paddling will give me some confidence, hopefully, and I'll find the confidence to make that crossing. And off I go. Crazy ass weather. Woo! Surfing, baby. Wow, why don't you look at this? Boulangerie. Noticed a missed call from Kai, so let's call him back. Jee, siis ihan pieni leikivaatos. 10 kilsaa, mutta herra jestas, siis mä en oo ennen plaanannut suplaudaa. Oli aika siisti fiilis. Mieletön myötä blossis. Okei, okay, joo. Tosiaan, mä aika to... Mun tuttava päivitti Kotlan Rossista, oli valtaosa veneistä, oli keskeyttänyt siinä Almalla tai viimeistään Fuuroissa, joka on siis se eka Kotlantin väliä. Joo. Keli on kuulemma ihan semmoista niinku, että kamoja hajoi, niin tai joutui keskeyttää sen takia, että terveys pokkakappaleeksi. Ja sitten jotenkin, kun menee niin Aavean merelle, kun sit sitä niin kertyy sitä voimaa siihen. started raining. Hope there's no thunder coming. Front's heading in and I'm out in the open. Check out my new home. Get to lay claim to this very island behind me. Can't do that in many places in the world. I just realized what I probably forgot. My tent sticks. Whoa. Getting some clean Myrna wool on. Made in Finland. Oh, it's 5 a.m. Hitting the wetsuit today, we'll go. Open ocean and uh, really long leg, so almost fell in the water yesterday.
And now Shoot. this will be my lifesaver, maybe. destination today is somewhere there but the wind is blowing there so I'm gonna use this island as much as I can to go east before getting caught up in the wind there is open ocean ahead oh open sea ahead la 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 so shallow Sha la 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 Trying to make it behind that island and then I'm gonna loop fly downwind hoping it's enough for me to hit the destination of the day. Today I get to breathe. Ew. Anyways, I gotta make it across this gusty crossing. I'm just four kilometers away from the lighthouse. Pretty excited to rest. It's been eight hours on the board non-stop already. <laughs> to see. There it is. One could say, a little windy here. Somehow on the paddleboard, I didn't realize it's actually really windy. back what I did today wasn't maybe safest or smartest of things but here I am safe and sound so that is apparently 10 meters per second when in reality probably it's hitting here closer to 20 the woman who showed me my room lost her balance from the wind but um I checked the wind forecast for the next days and give me quite oh, I'm in the bunk bed of the lighthouse here before the big crossing to Finland. Um yeah, I don't know how this trip will continue tomorrow it's still very windy uh, and people I'm in contact with are saying it's uh, too dangerous to go or I shouldn't go there will be big waves 
then Thursday is horrible wind, and Friday is uh, the same as tomorrow. And I don't plan on staying in this tiny room for a week. forgotten what land sickness feels like after all the waving today of sitting eight hours on the board going up and down on waves it feels like this room is constantly swaying up and down like I'm on a boat it's not a nice feeling uh, good morning it's 4 30 a.m. Um, the wind looking much calmer than yesterday even though when I woke up I heard it banging on the door but it is probably half of what it was yesterday um I am heading out pretty excited for today uh, if we're being totally honest I'm pretty scared as well uh, but it's gonna be fun I'm gonna try to take a positive mindset this training comes down to this this very paddle Ooh. so my tactic for the day is Head a bit right from where I want to go, trusting that the wind will again turn a bit more south. So, uh, these waves aren't really helping either. Coming from the right, I'm going to preserve energy until it is needed. And I'll use it at the attack of the playhouse. because I started going right of the sun now I'm going way to the left obviously because the world is rotating Approaching. There's a lot of islands and small rocks in front, so hope I'm gonna navigate with this. You can see the white water just rushing. Wow, made it! I feel fucking elated. Sole person on the island, and of course, 
first thought there would uh, would be water. There is not a single water canister to be found. There's some rainwater that's fallen from the roof, but it looked pretty murky to me. But I think I have to boil that and make my food out of that. And hope hope for the best. It's not looking good. Not looking good. This one had a net. It looks clean enough for me. I'm uh, afraid of the wild now. Where do I even begin? So. I left my phone here to charge and all the cameras and thought I'd go for a little walk to the toilet. As I'm doing my business, I noticed down in the shitter that there's quite a long snake skin. I'm like, huh, somebody must have thrown that there. While I'm minding my own business, I look again and a huge fat gook at him, a poisonous snake, is swivering down there with all the bark that you throw after you've done your business. I'm like, wow! close it and then uh, once once I'm out of there I think the danger's over my heart's still pulsing and I take a few steps forward out of the toilet and a massive black snake uh, now Noraku swivels past luckily away from me uh, frightened by me and now I am done and I'm like okay I need back to the tent I want to get in here as fast as I can and a flock of birds start attacking me I guess I was too close to their uh, nest and they started diving down at me uh, screaming their lungs out or throats out I'm not sure where birds get their vocal cords I don't think I'm leaving the tent today again hanging out in my tent reading listening to music and uh, now making uh, the second warm meal of the day and belly feels all right from the water I had earlier so all is good. It's raining. And it's windy. And I feel very sick. Good that I'm just in the middle of the Baltic Sea all alone with very little water. My body is now in recovery mode as every muscle aches, every small touch in the body hurts. 12 o'clock, still raining hard, windy. A day in the tent, pretty cozy in here. Snacking, hydrating, reading. Get this bad boy going. Ah, nothing like a good old olive oil gulp. With the wind turned. I gotta go fix the tents. <sighs> and good morning again. 4.30 a.m. Gave myself that extra 30 minutes. <clears throat> yeah, gotta cross the sea again. <sighs> Eating is uh, seldom anymore a nice experience. It's just fueling up. Now I left my porridge way too liquid. Whew, ready to go. Feeling kind of sweezy. Bye.
first time with no shirt because it is so warm and I am low on water so gotta say I don't want to sweat into the wetsuit too much but uh, we got around 38 kilometers to go so uh, let's get moving you halfway there whoa living on the paddleboard take my hand We'll make it, I swear. Whoa! Living on a paddleboard. I have now made it to the archipelago. Being overtaken by a boat. Okay, Margaret, it waits. You're going where? Helsinki. Helsinki? Yeah. That's crazy, from Sweden. little update the winds are turning tomorrow 180 degrees so it'll be headwind most of the way to Turku uh, I'm not feeling horrible right now so I think I'm gonna pull a long long day today all the way until probably it gets dark as uh, as we have tailwind Oletko yhtä fiiliksissä suppailusta kuin olet pyöräilystä? Eh, en tiedä suppailusta, mutta tuota, ehdottomasti vähän niin kuin Mä en tiedä, tykkäsikö me pyöräilystä itsessään, mutta se matkan vauhti ja matkan tekopyörällä oli ihan loistavaa. Niin sama supio, mutta mä aika hyvin ymmärrän, miksi joilla ei ole mökkiä. Ne viettää kesän täällä saaristossa, kun täällä on aivan mielettömän upea tää luonto. Ja sit sä istut tuossa purkkarissa ja vähän luet kirjaa ja juot viiniä ja menet noihin vierasvenesatamiin, jossa Vessat ja keittiöt ja lasten leikkipuisto ja jätkikiska ja onhan tää niinku tosi, tosi magia tää saaristo, saaristo meininki. Niinpä. Ja täällä on niin yes. paljon nähtävää ja kuitenkin maisema vaihtuu aika hyvää vauhtia täällä niinku saaristossa. Siis on se oikeesti, se on niin magia ja sitten siellä on jotenkin se vapaus, se on mennä ihan mihin vaan oikeastaan. Checking the rain forecast. This island here, and it looks to be just on the border of the rainfall. Is it rain and no headwind tomorrow, or no rain and headwind tomorrow? Those are the decisions I have to make. I think I'll go for a little bit of rain. Call this this island for the night. Tomorrow the winds are changing and uh, the tailwind days are behind us, and it'll be headwind or sidewind most of the day. So uh, gotta get some proper rest before that. Today was probably summarized by incredible bird watching. I saw plenty of different kinds of birds and a weird interaction between some seagulls as well. Even though I entered back to society and saw some people and went to K-Market, still here in the Baltic Sea, you're extremely close to nature. Uh, there is just so much going on in regards to wildlife. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get moving. Today is all about aerodynamics. <clears throat> Super shallow. Sha -la, la 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 la. I'm in the shallow now. Ah! 
I only just started and it's already pulling on my shoulders like crazy. There's no time for chill. I'll be pulled out to sea in an instant. Gotta keep my board. Sidewind. I made it across. But um, my shoulder is giving fucking hard cramp. Really, really painful. So, I'm gonna go check the weather. Make a game plan for the next few days. There's a thousand and one different kinds of moss and different living organisms on these rocks. It's super cool stuff. Take a look. Even though I like traveling alone and doing these solo adventures, I, I still am quite the expert. And, uh, often get quite a bit of FOMO when I'm alone on Saturday night and see people out partying. But now when I saw the stories, funnily, uh, I didn't have too much FOMO because this is just so fucking unique and so beautiful. Uh, and I think I'm right where I ought to be right now. Bye bye. clear water.
watch this cute little island. I think uh, it's lunchtime here. Realized uh, I stink and I'm coming closer to Turku, so maybe it's time to finally go for a swim and the water looked pretty clear. So many fish. Wow, that feels nice. Now some lunch, a nap, and continue in the Turku archipelago. It is quite peaceful, quite beautiful. The water is very fresh. Bye. This right here is supposed to be an island, but Sure looks like a dead end for me. Let's go see. Oh shit, look at this thing. Wow. I think you can go through. I'm wondering why I'm not moving. Might be because I'm pulling a bit of a load. been a minute since we talked it is seven o'clock we are 57.7 kilometers in 11 hours and 20 minutes of paddling and uh, the first muscle cramps are happening pretty intensely in my uh, whatever you call the muscle in your upper back uh, not lats but upper back I guess uh, aching quite a bit so I think uh, we're gonna call it a day on that island over there. I was gonna go to the island I pointed to, but it had rocky cliffs and then I was gonna go to that one, but it was taken over by birds, so I hope I can go to this one. All right, I'm gonna put off the cameras and focus this night on myself and tomorrow join me for the last leg. There was uh, some big waves and I didn't pull my board super far in because I thought there won't be any big waves, but big boat went by so I gotta go check if my board's still here and uh, yeah it's pretty dark <coughs> there's sticks on the ground and I ain't got no shoes oh fucking rendezvous ah so painful Wow. Good morning. It is uh the last day at sea. We are heading to Turku today. Got a little bit of pre-nostalgia kicking in. Don't want this journey really to end. It's been super incredible. Everything I hope for and nothing I hope for. Uh, a lot of challenges, a lot of physical pain. There is this sweet suffering that has a kind of pleasure to it even. But yeah, 40 kilometers ahead. Ocean looks, or sea in Finnish, it's meri, which is pretty much ocean as well. <laughs> The sea looks uh, pretty calm today, so should be very nice, easy paddling and overcast sky, which is good because 
I definitely got too much sun yesterday. Let's go get it. to see the charm of having a cabin at the ocean instead of a lake. These are quite beautiful places to spend the summer. It is a hot day. And then I can't hold the paddle because my uh, hands are so greasy. Island here. We're around 20 km from Turbo. I'm gonna meet a guy from the Turbo newspaper and I'm off towards towards the finale. Otettiin pikku kreikkiä vähän lounastaukoa täällä Vepsän saarella, niin miltä nyt tuntuu olla ihmisten ilmoilla ja nähdä vähän kasvoja? Ihan hauska. Ei se tuota sen kummosempaa. Kyllä se oli kiva kymmenen päivää viettää yksin, mutta kyllä sitä viihtyy myös ihmisten seurassa ja kiva tavata teidät, että pääsee jakaa näitä juttuja ja heittää ajatuksia vähän edes takas, niin ei, ei tarvi enää olla täysin oman pään sisällä niin sanotusti. Tukholmasta Turkuun, se on aikamoinen reissu ja siinä on ehtinyt niitä omia pääsisäisiä ajatuksia varmaan jonkin verran sitten jo pistää jonkinlaiseen ruoriin ja tietynlaiselle linjalle, niin mitä se nyt voisit sanoa, että mikä on nyt tämän matkan kovin anti ollut? Ehkä sellainen sinnikkyys tulee aina tällaisen matkan jälkeen. Et näkee, että saa asioita aikaan ja jaksaa ja kun pääsee pieniin tavoitteisiin koko ajan joka päivä, päättää, että okei, tonne saarelle, sit mä saattaa vettä. Ja okei, tonne, mä haluan tänään 50 kilsaa täyteen. Ja sä näet, että sä pääset niihin, niin sulla jää sellainen hyvä moodi. Ja tuollahan kukaan ei ole motivoimassa. Ei siinä ole mitään ulkopuolista motivaattoria, että hei, me mene, tai kukaan ei odota multa mitään, että se pitää lähteä täysin sisältä niin sitten sen saa ehkä tuotu aika hyvin myös takas oikeeseen elämään. It is a hot day. I feel very stung by the sun as we say in Finnish. Fuck yeah, got a little headwind for the last 10 km. Let's go. Give it to me. I dropped my phone. I'm gonna go snorkel it now. Mother so close to Turbo. Fucking A. It's so f***ing murky, I can't even see my own hand. So f***ing close to Turbo. All my diaries, videos, everything's in that phone. Drop my phone right across the straight here and borrow this guy's phone to call and tell him what happened and we're gonna now make a war plan on how to get the phone out of the water because it does indeed have a lot of videos and all the diary entries and recordings and everything from this journey so anyways here's Turgo Castle we made it to Turgo Woo! 300 kilometers later Found my boy Kai, the true hero, the savior. Without him, none of this would have been possible. Kai is a fucking superhuman. Really weird roller coaster of emotions. Super pissed about the phone and worried that I lost 
a lot of good stuff. Extremely proud of myself and happy to be here. Super grateful for Kai over there for helping out. Without him, this would not be possible. Oh.